Hello and thanks for watching this Cloud9 ERP solutions video and subscribing to our YouTube channel. In this video, we're going to talk about assignment maps. So in Acumatica, we have the ability to automatically assign different leads or contacts or business accounts or many other entities, an owner or a work group. So that's our assignment maps. We have the ability to, based on rules, automatically assign these. But then on top of that, we also have approval maps. So we have the ability to, for example, take a document and based on the values of the document, work the document through an approval process, which requires somebody specific to approve that document. Somebody specific or multiple people to sign off and approve this document or reject it. So let's get started with the assignment map. You can see the screen I'm on, it's assignment and approval maps. And you could of course search for this menu item, but when you get to it, it gives you a list of all of them. And you can see the map type here, there's approval maps and assignment maps, just like we discussed, and the entity type. This is the screen involved in that particular map. And notice at the top of the screen, this is where we can add a brand new approval or assignment. So to get started, let's take a look at an existing one. This is a contact assignment. And you can see here, there are different rules in this contact assignment. The first one is a job application. So the job application is here and then there's conditions. So the condition here is if the contacts class equals job, you can make changes to this if you want to, and you can add additional rows here for different conditions. There's an and clause here, or you could say or. So for example, maybe the contact class ID equals job, or it equals sales lead business. So you can continue to add different things here. And you don't have to stay with contact too. If we wanted to, we can pick a different entity within the contact screen. So for example, maybe something in the address and for example, they are in the state of Alaska. So you can really drill down and give yourself the right conditions for this assignment. Now, additionally, if any fields are added, any custom fields are added here, you'll see those fields will pop up in this dropdown. Now, what do we do? We found it. We found a record that where the class ID equals job. Our rule action is right here. So we're going to assign the ownership to an employee or we can pull the field from a document. Right? So if we click that, we can click the plus button here and this will show all the different fields, the same fields we saw before in the conditions. And we can cherry pick that field out and automatically use it as the assignment to the employee. But in this case, we had employee here and we have a static employee and we're also assigning it to a work group, human resources. So that's how this works. Now, if we take a look at some of the other rules, for example, this is administrative. So a new contact active equals true. So anytime a new contact is created, we can assign that default contact to this employee and administrative. So in other words, assuming all of this doesn't meet or match, it'll get assigned to this employee. So that's why there's a rule order here. We start off with job application, work our way down. But if we needed to, we can move this one up or down based on the priority. So now that this is set up or was set up, we went through it. If we go over to assignment, so let's say, for example, we want to assign a contact. So we search for assign contacts and we can see there's a process screen for it located in different work areas, marketing as well as opportunities. But if we open it up, we get a list of our contacts. And if I wanted to, I could filter by our lead class, which is job. 
And if we scroll over to the right, you can see that there's no owner assigned here. But if we process all and we close this, we lost our filter. But if we filter again, put job in here and we scroll over to the right, you can see that this contact was assigned to our owner, our employee, and is in the human resources work group. So if we go back to assignment maps and we hit the plus button, the way you do this is you pick an entity type. So these are all the entities where you can do assignments. So for example, you know, maybe I have inbound emails and I want to assign it to someone. Or maybe I have a support case and I want to automatically assign those. So if I click on cases, for example, we'll make this description or the name the assigned case. We'll create our first rule with a condition of if the case class ID, so this is the category of the support case, equals, and I could do a lookup here. Maybe it's a product support incident. And keep in mind, you don't have to use the condition equals. You can do something else where it contains or something along those lines. But if we go to rules action, now we can assign it to a specific employee or a specific work group. So maybe we want to assign it to our technical support work group. and we'll save it right so now anytime a case that's part of product support is created and then we go over to assign cases once again if we look at our case class i'll hit shift f here that filters by that value You'll notice over here is the owner. Let me move that over. And you'll notice over here is the work group. We'll move that over. And we'll select a few of these. We could say process all, but in this case, we're going to say process. And when we close it, remember that Acumatica changes the filter. You lose your filter after you do the assignment. But if I put the filter back and scroll over to the right, notice it assigned the technical support work group. So that's assignment maps, how to create them, how to manage them, and how to process them. If you have any questions about this or anything else at Acumatica, feel free to reach out to us. We'd love to hear from you. Thanks again for watching this video and subscribing to our YouTube channel. And have a great day.